Okay. Hello. Um, my name is Ingrid Jush and I'm from um, the Health Centre Maribor. Like my colleague said, today I would like to uh, present to you um, community nursing. Um, the, I will focus today on community nursing at the Health Centre in Maribor. Uh, community nursing here, healthcare in Maribor, works by following the Slovenian model of community healthcare. Patricia? In today's presentation, I will be uh, showing you something about community healthcare nursing in the past and nowadays, project activities that have been done and challenges and opportunities in the future. The first, I would like to uh, explain a little ba a bit about associations that we work with. First, uh, there is the Nurses and Midwives Association of Slovenia, which is a professional non-governmental and non-profit association with more than 16,000 members. These are nurses, midwives and health technicians. These members are organized into 11 regional professional associations uh, from different cities like Ljubljana, Maribor, Celje, uh, Novo Mesto and so on. Uh, this is the National Regulatory Authority for the Field of Nursing and Midwifery. The association maintains the National Register of Nurses, Midwives and Health Technicians and Caregivers and is responsible for granting, renewing and revoking licenses to nurses and midwives. According to the regulations in force, all nurses and midwives in Slovenia must be entered into the record and hold a valid license to practice independently. The, the next association is the Community Nursing Association, which works under the Nurses and Midwives Association of Slovenia. Their goals are to organize professional courses and training and help members constantly improve their expertise and skills. And last but not least, the National Institute of Public Health of Slovenia. Uh, it's an institute whose main aim is to study, protect and improve the level of health of the Slovenian population with the help of preventive measures and place also a big part in the preventive care system of community nursing. Uh, the, the National Institute of Public Health uh, also involves uh, people, um, uh, our community health uh, in different projects and cover various areas of health and general public health problems of the population. Sixty-five years ago was the beginning of community nursing here in Maribor, Slovenia. With the setup of a social health nursing unit, employing eight community nurses, working by the monovalent model, meaning that creative and preventive care was carried out separately. This is community nursing in the past. There were many reorganizations with the purpose to upgrade the quality and safety, modernizing and achieving better efficiency in community nursing care. Since 1986, Community Nursing Maribor uses the systematic nursing process. In the transition from monovalent to polyvalent care, has also been done and the in the past our model was very good for holistic care of the elderly as you can see this is the polo monovalent model 
1981, Community Health Nursing Maribor became an independent organizational unit in the health center Maribor. The head of a multidisciplinary team was a registered nurse with a college education. It was this team that provided long-term care services, enabling the elderly to live at home despite their aid dependencies. As you can see from this slide, uh, holistic care for the elderly was carried out by a home care aide, nursing technician, registered nurse, physiotherapist, social worker, occupational therapist, and for food distribution. This system ensured the quality and equality of care, as well as personnel and financial efficiency, including accessibility. The assessment was done by a registered nurse who included many different profiles from the multidisciplinary team. They had weekly meetings where they exchanged information and planned further treatment. Here you can see in the first picture a physiotherapist who is helping an elderly person. The next is a picture of food delivery to patients' homes. Uh, at the bottom, there is a home aide who is helping patient. And last but not least, uh, is a registered nurse who is doing wound management at the patient's home. The Organization of Community Health Nursing Maribor nowadays. We have 70 employees, including one male community nurse from 2019. Community Nursing Maribor is an independent unit of Maribor's Health Center. A registered community nurse assesses, plans, and evaluates achieved goals. She is independent in implementing preventive care, but dependent on a work order from a doctor when implementing curative care. Nursing care is implemented as a part of the health care center or independently as a private provider with a concession by the municipality with the consent of the Slovenian Ministry of Health. In both cases, community health care nurses work within the public health sector. Community nurses are guests in clients' homes and act accordingly. They are culturally complement culturally competent as they may have different cultures living within their area. They are also aware of the social economic factors in the community. Our schedule is from Monday to Sunday and holidays from 6.30 to 8 p.m. We are a polyvalent care model. We don't have any waiting queues and nursing care is paid by the compulsory health insurance. Community health nurses are providers of community nursing care. They work with all age groups across their whole lifespan from birth till death. So when someone is pregnant, they give birth or at the end. They assist families with the arrival of a newborn child, promote a healthy lifestyle, and help families in times of illness, rehabilitation, and during palliative care. They carry, they carry out preventive social and health care for clients, families, and the local community. Community nurses are here in an in independent role. They provide health care for children ages from one to three years old, 
we have planned two visits between the ages of one to two and from two to three years old. Then we have chronically ill patients. We have uh, four visits in a year to a chronically ill patient. The elderly, these are ages 65 and more, are visited twice a year. Here we scan for the first signs of dementia with the clock drawing test, as you can see, uh, as well as the test for potential falls. Once a year, every community nurse prepares a field analysis of her community district. In the local community, community health nurses prepare educational classes on health risk factors to improve the health and well-being of the population. They can also counsel individually or measure and examine vital functions. Community nursing care of pregnant women, mothers and newborns. We provide care to expectant mothers within the third trimester of pregnancy. We provide care to families with newborns within 24 hours after they are released from hospital. We provide additional visits due to certain health care criteria for vulnerable groups. Till the year of one, every child's family has six visits made by the community health nurse. Two visits are for the mother and four visits for the children. In case of vulnerability criteria or a positive Edinburgh postnatal depression scale, three or more visits can be made. Now, here, I would like to introduce you to community health care in the patient's home setting. We, this is based on a work order from the selected personal physician or a specialist doctor. We implement ordered nursing interventions. That's the treating of wounds, injuries, administrating vaccinations, pain, ma med pain med management, and taking laboratory checkups and palliative care. Community, community health care is a vital part of primary health care. Every community nurse works in a determined area that covers a population of 2,200 inhabitants. The Health Centre Maribor covers a wide, diverse geographic area consisting of the city centre of Maribor and the rural parts such as parts of Pohorje, Kozjak and the Slovenska Gorica, which are vineyards. It means that community nurses in general cover approximately 200 square kilometres and take care of a population of 150,000 residents in 15 different locations. As you can see in the pictures, I would like to show you our working resources and equipment. We have uniforms, which makes us more visible in a public setting. We drive company cars and have medical bags. Every community nurse has a mobile phone, a computer, two medical bags, a laboratory bag, and scales for weighing newborns. Uh, now I'd like to tell you something about a project of upgrading lifelong preventive treatment for the entire population. This project took place from the years to 2017 to 2019. Uh, and uh, community health nursing Maribor took a place in that project. 
under the Ministry of the Slovenian Health Department and the Institute of Public Health of Slovenia. The goal of the project was to upgrade preventive programs for children, adolescents and adults, ensuring equality in healthcare for vulnerable groups, health promotion in the local communities and achieving better health. After the project activities ended, they were financially supported by the Health Insurance of Slovenia and also implemented. So because of the, this project, Community Nursing Maribor now has upgraded its preventive care. Preventive home care of newborns, infants and the neonatal mothers under a new program was there was added the Edinburgh Postnatal Depression Scale and we now also have vulnerability criteria. With chronically ill patients, we added a test for potential falls. With a field of analysis in a district area, we provide consulting services in the local communities. Now I would like to explain to you about a project of targeted integrated home care. The Health Center Maribor in partnership cooperated in this project. Within the framework of the public tender, access to new services was ensured. These services would assist and enhance the independency of the elderly despite illness, disability, or fragility and enable them to stay in their home environments for as long as possible. This project started in December 2019 to the 30th of June 2022. In June 2020, professional colleagues started working in the information point where they evaluated eligibility for long-term care. The most important role belonged to the coordinator of long-term care, who needed professional knowledge in both health and social care to be able to integrate both fields of work. The coordinator's job was to organize and coordinate the whole multidisciplinary team. So on the professional interdisciplinary level, integrated long-term care was enabled with coordinated cooperation of social care, nursing care, and the use of modern information telecommunication. So as you can see here, unified assessment tools were, were used in a multidisciplinary team and the coordinator uh, coordinated the integrated long-term care. The team consisted of a nursing aide, health technician, physiotherapist, occupational therapist, psychologist, social worker, physician, community health nurse, and a coordinator. Because of this project, there, there was mm, a mobile application for wound assessment developed. The set of long-term services was accept, accessible to all users, both geograph, geographically and time-wise. To summarize the advantages of the project, there was unified assessment tools used. It was a quality of holistic integrated care. It filled the gap between health and social services. Services improved and enhanced the independency of the patients. There was a lot of education of the health workers that were in the project. 
the integration of health and social services. There were also e-health and e-care and the mobile application for wound assessment made. And of course, relief of informer caregivers were given by the project. There was given also palliative care, informization, a medical card of medicine, and uh, immediate rehabilitation. So, on 30th of June 2022, the, prob the project activities ended, but mm, that's nothing to be sad about because um, they will be continuing when uh, our law will accept the long-term care in January 2024. I would also like to share uh, some, as you can see in these pictures, that we were active even during the COVID-19 epidemic. Um, here in Community Nursing Maribor, we, prefer, we pre performed curative care uh, uh, nursing activities and nursing preventive care of expectant women and mothers with newborns. Here we are dressed up in these pictures. Right, but last but not least, challenges and opportunities in the future. <sighs> yeah, we have a lot of those. Most of all, it's important to care for the most vulnerable groups of the population. Quality of care for the elderly by providing long-term care and digitalization, of course and the, the polyvalent model of community nursing. We will strive to respond effectively to patient, family and community needs, especially the needs of the vulnerable groups of the population. With the knowledge and experience, we want to be a trustworthy provider of long-term care. Community Nursing Maribor strives to provide high quality and efficient health care. In the case of identifying needs where we exceed our competencies, we involve other health professionals, colleagues in the multidisciplinary team. This way of working is a patient friendly and human and financially efficient. And of course, digitalization of our work process and documentation is necessary for the optimization of our work. So that concludes uh, my presentation today. I thank you for your attention. Thank you, Ingrid. Uh, nice uh, that you wanted to share this with, uh, with us all. Uh, Patricia, do you have to add a few things maybe or uh, start the first question or whatever, uh, because you are the initiator uh, as, as advisory board member of the EFBC. You said, well, we have something to, to show you because this is this is important. This is nice. So uh, uh, please, uh, the floor is yours. Thank you, Didrik, and thank you, Ingrid, for this wonderful presenta presentation. Uh, my question would be, since you mentioned that project um, finished by the end of June 2022 and those yeah. services might continue in 2024, how people in the community deal with um, their vu vulnerability and their problems in between uh, when those services are not uh, possible um, in our healthcare system? Do you have any uh, experiences? Well, uh, we also have other services that uh, we can give the patients and their families. So meanwhile, they can help themselves with the other services. If I was clear enough, I'm not sure. <laughs> 
do they miss those services that were available uh, in the project? Yes, of course, because well, it was a wider range of services um, and there were more um, people involved. What about uh, services from the project in, uh, when if you would compare it uh, to the model from 60 years ago? Uh, would you, what would you say? Which model would be more applicable in, um, I in think the community in these times? I think in these times, if we wanted to make it applicable really fast, it would be very good to use the old our old model that we used to have because uh, it worked then and I'm sure it would work now as well. Okay, thanks. I, okay. I don't see many, many, many uh, questions in the chat box. If you want to raise your hand, it's also fine. Then I give you the floor uh, and you can open your microphone. Um, uh, and Patricia, you might have also some more questions, but uh, let, let me also try, uh, because I was informed that you have a new government. Um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, if you talk about continuation uh, and uh, uh, the, the next phase of your project, this might be at risk. Uh, so how, how would that, uh, what, what are your expectations in that respect? Well, this government has promised <laughs> to to uh, apply or to to take the project in uh, in law. So I think that um, we are all waiting for 2024 for this project to start. And then may I ask all the other Slovenian nurses uh, attending this uh, this meeting? Do you agree with Ingrid? Do you have confidence that uh, your future is bright? Martina Borvat, maybe first. Go ahead. Yes, hello, uh, everybody. Uh, first of all, allow me to I sincerely congratulate uh, our colleagues on excellent presentation. Uh, I'm working at National Institute of Public Health as National Coordinator of Community Nursing. And I'm also a member of European Forum for Primary Care for a few years. So uh, really, really, I'm happy that uh, they are so uh, brave to show our community nursing model to other colleagues from other countries. I only should add to this presentation that uh, those projects uh, for upgrading community, community nursing activities in Slovenia, which was run from 2013 to 2019, was uh, 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 supported by Norwegian Financial Mechanism Program and uh, from uh, European Cohesion Policy, policy, policy Funding. So, uh, the European uh, sources help us uh, to uh, establish these upgraded uh, interventions in community nursing. And we see uh, a huge improvement in preventive work which followed these interventions we uh, implemented in 2021 in all community health centers, not only those who are uh, involved in the project. Uh, the main uh, project uh, I see object or or uh, or aim was uh, update and harmon harmonize this the ways in which preventive health nursing is performed and to increase this uh, this number of these visits. So uh, to uh, promote health in the local community and. Uh, to reduce inequalities in health in local communities and in families. So I'm really proud and I hope that we will have opportunity to speak something more about these uh, upgrades in Istanbul this year. I don't know yet. And I wish uh, to stress that Community Health Center Maribor was one of the most um, uh, updated centers and they are really really helpful uh, ever when we uh, try to introduce something new at national level so thank you very much to community health center maribor and uh, once again congratulations to patricia and ingrid for really excellent uh, performance today thank you 
Thank you, Martina. That is very much welcomed, I think, to our uh, uh, speakers. And also, to uh, f uh, I, I'm, I'm welcoming it because uh, uh, certainly you, uh, the floor is yours in Istanbul. And I didn't mention yet, but uh, the next year, the floor is completely yours. Uh, uh, we are planning to have our 2024 uh, four, uh, uh, meeting uh, conference in, uh, in Ljubljana. Uh, with maybe even a visit to to Maribor, so uh, there uh, everybody is 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 uh, uh, well very much welcomed to 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 see what's happening uh, in real life uh, in in your country. So that's that's great. Before giving Andrea Veskam uh, uh, the floor, she she raised her hand. I have a a, a pretty much um, uh, specific questions. Who are your vulnerable people? You are talking a lot about uh, uh, vulnerable people and, and how are you going to take care of them. But who are these in Slovenia? Who are these in Maribor? Yes, we have uh, a list um, which specify the vulnerable groups. Uh, they can be um, mothers with newborns who are younger. Um, they are... Um, they are mothers who have come from foreign countries and cannot speak the language uh, or families that need uh, special attention, maybe because of an illness in the family, one of the, the parents are ill, or maybe because um, they have some social problems in the family or um, things like that. We have a whole okay. list of these. I don't have the list with me now. So. No, no, no. You have to be, don't have to be to be exhaustive. Uh, I mean, but uh, if you talk about uh, mothers from foreign countries, you mean yeah. migrant uh, mi migrant people. Also migrants. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And and how? Uh, but but what about uh, homeless, uh, undocumented uh, people? Are they treated as well within the system? Are they yes, able they to are. receive yes, care have, from your? Yes, we have homeless shelters here for the homeless, or how can I put that? Yeah. Uh, so they are not on the streets and we visit them as well, of course. OK, great. Andrea Veskam, your, the floor is yours. You had a question or a remark. Thank you very much, Diederik. Um, sorry, I have been a little bit late um, for this meeting, but um, Yes, um, I'm from Germany and we are running a project with the Robert Bosch Foundation to implement uh, community health nurses in Germany and there are a lot of um, discussions and um, it's not so easy to implement the, the new role uh, community health nursing. So um, my question is, um, how is the collaboration with the, with the general practitioner, for example, um, when you have a very difficult case, um, are you um, empowered to deal it for your own or have you the possibility to get into consultation with a general practitioner or how do you deal it when there is a complex case? in the family, for example? Yes, that's a very good question. We uh, are in contact with uh, the, uh, the client's uh, physicians regularly, so we can call them up uh, if we are at the patient's home and, uh, for example, and we can converse by phone, uh, or if we, we can also email uh, or we can send pictures like for for instance of wounds for wound management and for the doctors to have um, pictures so they can compare what's happening. So we are in close contact not only with the physicians but also with specialists if we have to and with other uh, health. Um... Thank you. Um, and just a little question. Yeah, okay. um, what's about nurse, nurse prescribing? Are you empowered to give um, <laughs> something like medicaments to, the, to your patient no. or is it ordered by the general practitioner? 
No, we we tell, for instance, our uh, doctors that, I don't know, a patient, for instance, is in pain or something and they need something for pain, but the doctor then prescribes it. We don't prescribe anything. That's the and, domain. That's their domain. Okay. How is this in Germany? Yeah, it's their domain as well, but we are struggling a little bit um, to get nurse prescribing for a def defined range of medicaments. So, uh -huh. and we are, um, we have these uh, master programs for advanced nurse practitioner, and but they are not empowered to do, um, to deal with medicaments till now. But I think it should be, uh, in, in go in, we have to deal with that and we would like to change it in the future. Um, so my last question is, what's the qual qualification? How are you qualified as a community health nurse? Are you doing a bachelor degree or a master's degree or what is it? Well, we are registered nurses. Okay. Uh, with uh, with some years experience in other fields. Um, and we also have uh, in our um, a faculty, or I, I'm not sure if we still have or we or we have, I think uh, someone else can answer the question from the faculty, maybe Barbara Kegel, uh, <laughs> if I can give you uh, the voice. Please, Barbara, open your microphone. Yes, thank you. Uh, no, we don't have a specialist. Uh, we have just one. Martina will participate in that uh, specialist program, and we just have postgraduate program from nursing and other um, uh, other uh, sphere of nursing. Okay, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Uh, about the nurse prescribing, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm curious, we have also a lot of Austrian guests, so um, uh, can one of the, the Austrian nurses uh, respond on this, uh, for example, Jutta Heitzer or uh, other colleagues, please? Open your microphone. Hello, this is Jutta from Austria. So we have to be uh, registered uh, as uh, nurses. Um, but you can also have degrees in this, but for community nursing, it's not, uh, um, it's not, um, no, you don't have to be a BSc or MSc for academic. Okay, but uh, we were, I was also curious about nurse prescribing. Yeah? So uh, the, the, the nurses who are, uh, um, have, have a certain um well tasks in prescribing the necessary drugs on certain diseases does it exist in austria already or is it still under discussion so i don't we only uh work together with practice uh with the the house arts okay together with the medicines yeah yeah I, I know Lane Robard from, from Belgium is, is present. Uh, how is it in Belgium, nurse prescribing? Hello. Um, nurse pres prescribing doesn't exist in Belgium. <laughs> okay. That's a clear cut answer. Yeah. Uh, let me let me say a few words about the Netherlands. It it it's it's starting. Yeah? So there are some uh, uh, drugs to be to be prescribed by uh, nurses, of course, under the supervision of uh, a physician, uh, and within uh, primary care. That's uh, more or less, of course, the the, um, uh, the the responsibility of the GP. But uh, I think there are uh, certainly if it if it comes to uh, uh, certain specific diseases, diabetes or uh, whatever, uh, there uh, are opportunities uh, to uh, to have a, uh, an extended role of of uh, uh, high level uh, uh, with with specific specific uh, um, uh, education of nurses. Patricia, you wanted to react. Yes, thank you. I wanted to add something regarding prescribing. As I'm familiar, um, this 
is under advanced nursing practice and in Europe it's still not very well developed. I think it I, I'm sure it's in Ireland and UK and some beginnings in Germany is if I'm familiar uh, in Slovenia we started a postgraduate uh, program for advanced nursing practice but we still don't have uh, regula uh, regula um, um, legislations about that so we we don't have uh, advanced nursing practice uh, in practice but um, yeah I think this is the future especially community nursing family practice paramedics because these are the fields where nurses can and usually work um, uh, independently very often so I think uh, we should focus on that because um, the the main reason why to implement advanced nursing practice is to to uh, provide a patient care um, to people and so that they can have a good access to care. So I just wanted to add that. Thanks, thanks. I uh, have a look at the, the chat box and uh, I see a very interesting question from Brigitte Lagler. Um, so she wanted to know if your projects uh, have reduced the, the, the hospital days uh, um, uh, with, with your community nursing projects. So in other words, huh, it's, uh, you, you, you provide services which makes clear the image makes it possible that people can stay longer or earlier at home. So uh, does it do you have uh, any results on how many hospital days that have have reduced? Hmm. Yes, that's a very good question. Yes. Um, I think that um, it kind of it, it's like everywhere I, I think uh, in in Europe that the hospital stays are getting shorter and shorter and uh, patients are coming home um, with more different um, illnesses and uh, different um, uh, things to be done. Uh, in nursing interventions and because of this we are constantly uh, education uh, educating ourselves to be able to keep up with all the new uh, things uh, in different areas of work um, if yeah. maybe uh, Patricia would like to uh, add anything? and I think Martina also want to add but Brigitta yeah. is, is it is there is it answering already a part of your question? And from which country you are you, uh, Brigitte? Uh, hello, I'm Bridget. I'm from Vienna, and I was before a nursing director. And I will start. I'm now retired, and I will start at 15 of March for community nurses in Vienna. And uh, we know we are very good in long terms uh, community community things. But uh, the primary health aspect, we are very new. We have now our European uh, project until 2024. And so for us, it's in very interesting for the community. It's, uh, you can decrease the days in the hospital while you have a good system outside to be in the primary health. When you're describing uh, in your, your lecture, um, you do a lot of things for young moms and yes. and you visit uh, the, the children. So I think when you do this, uh, maybe the people don't go to the ambulance. She made first a call to your services. That's there, right? There. Yes, uh, sometimes mothers will call and ask uh, about certain things. And if uh, we are, um, in our competencies, we will answer and, of course, help the, the families or we will refer them to um, uh, a doctor or a specialist. Yes. So you are the network for the system in your uh, medical system in Slovenia. That's right. So I yes. think m maybe you you have a, a longer time. You, you are doing community nursing. So... I think when we will do it longer, the people uh, trust in us and then we are the network for the medical and it's a new part of nursing. Yes. So that's interesting uh, 
the trust the population in our uh, community nursing system. Thanks for your comment. Thank you. Yeah, thank you and thank good luck. <laughs> thank, thank you, you Brigitte, because I think you mentioned a very important aspect, trust. Trust yeah. is, is, is crucial in this respect. So you need on a long-term care to develop a, a good system which gives the, uh, the, 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 the citizens trust. Yes. Uh, uh, if I mention, may mention mm. the, the, the Dutch example, we have a midwifery inf uh, uh, um, professional group, uh, uh, very trustworthy in, in, in the Netherlands. So, in fact, they play that role which was the, just described. Uh, 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 young mothers, uh, preg pregnant women are easily going uh, to these, uh, these services of, yeah. of midwifery. Uh, uh, Martina, you wanted to make maybe to share some of the the, the data on on what has been uh, achieved by community nursing uh, reducing hospital days. Yes, because uh, uh, the as our colleagues mentioned, the tradition of community nursing in Slovenia is almost 65 years old. Uh, also, the monitoring of this field is 65 years old, and the national data collections are at National Institute of Public Health, also about community nursing. And in this year, we start with a renewed monitoring system, which will allow us in the future to connect the data uh, from other uh, resources, uh, from hospital uh, days and uh, I can answer, Brigitta, uh, you this question next year, perhaps when we uh, try to put together these uh, two uh, databases. So uh, we are looking forward to see because the effect of community nursing interventions are always uh, on the table when we are talking uh, about financing of this uh, field of nursing, when we are talking about other issues. So we try to evidence based on data based uh, uh, show improvement uh, which are caused by our community nursing visits. So uh, we are aware of this uh, importance and we are uh, we will be able to uh, answer on the, uh, so kind questions in the future because we renewed our, our monitoring system in community nursing. Just uh, this for the moment. Thanks. Birgitta, uh, you want to add something? Yes, uh, thank you, Martina. Um, in the description of our project is 75 years old uh, persons uh, uh, looking for that. You, your descript uh, for 65 years old. So maybe it's interesting uh, what's going, uh, going on in the life of a human between 65 to 75 to get, uh, to get more fit and you got longer movement and so on. Uh, so I think I'm interested in coming your LinkedIn group. <laughs> yes, you can join us uh, in our local communities. We give uh, individual lectures or we have lectures for certain groups and certain interests, like maybe for diabetics or uh, mothers with newborns. They come and they can talk to us about breastfeeding and talk with e with each other. So, yes, you're welcome. Just come. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Sounds great. Sounds good. Um, I have another interesting question, I think, for Ingrid and Patricia, mainly from Alex Fontanal. So I hope he's still present. But uh, he is mentioning, OK, uh, you were saying uh, four visits a year for uh, chronic illnesses, uh, but um, uh, for, for some uh, uh, chronic diseases like diabetes or obesity, you need more. Is then there a flexibility to, to increase those number of visits within your system? Yes, it all depends on how, uh, on the circumstances. If uh, the patient has more um, um, uh, different um, uh, vulnerability. For example, if he's he's got maybe diabetes and he's a he's got some uh, blood pressure or he's got uh, different diseases, then we have uh, more visits to that patient. Um, it all depends on what his health is like. Yeah. Okay. I think it's answering your question, uh, Alex. Uh, if not, uh, please interrupt me. Um, 
I have another uh, question before we are, have to close at, at two o'clock. Um, it, it's it's about it, it's a wonderful system. Eh? I I think you you showed off uh, uh, perfect. Uh, but then it comes to Europe more and more uh, staffing. Um, uh, do you have staffing problems? Because uh, and then the next question would be how is your salary? And uh, 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 so, and then I saw there is one male in your uh, group of uh, 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 community nurses. That's a signal, eh? Most of the time, because uh, male want to earn more. Uh, so please, uh, uh, what, what, what's your impression on this? How does it? How will it function in 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 continuing staffing problems in the future? Well, we hope to have um, more male uh, nurses uh, come to to our uh, 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 staff. Of course, it's no problem. And even um, mothers with newborns have accepted a male nurse for them to be uh, present, even with breastfeeding and to give advice. I mean, um, he was very... Um, uh, he was very happy with with the feedback that um, the patients give him, and we are also happy with uh, with the with the health help he gives. But are you happy with your salary? <laughs> well, is anyone? <laughs> uh, of course, everybody would like to have more. Of course, <laughs> but um, no. we 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 try to give a proper care. We try our best to care for our patients with the finances that we have. Yeah, but uh, I, I know that uh, Corinne uh, was, was present, maybe still present, Corinne Hindlop from uh, Bemos, Holland. Uh, she's running a, a project on uh, about medical deserts, uh, which means uh, the areas in 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 I uh, Corinne in uh, in Europe where uh, less and less uh, personnel is available, and uh, I know from Austria there are really uh, certain areas without any any proper primary care staff, starting with uh, no GPs, but then nurses become a problem as well. So how do you see that for Slovenia? Maybe Martina can can also in in, in intervene or or uh, people from Austria because. Uh, uh, we are we are running into a problem, or is that not the case in Slovenia? Not in not in Maribor, apparently, because you are, <laughs> you, are you keep silent. Well, um, I would say we have yeah. uh, the medical deserts in Slovenia as well, because this is a very uh, relevant topic uh, nowadays. Uh, there is a huge lack, huge lack of uh, primary care providers. So uh, I'm not very familiar with the data. Maybe uh, Martina has more data regarding that, but I'm sure we have um, this kind of deserts here as well. Uh, I, uh, at the moment, I don't have exactly the data about the staffing because I didn't expect this question. I can say that community nursing is still uh, attractive enough for nurses to go and work at this field of nursing because uh, it is a very, very beautiful uh, profession, community nursing, and you have uh, uh, straight feedback from the persons uh, which are your day-to-day -day visit. So uh, at the moment, I cannot say that we have a problem, but uh, last summer when I was in Romania uh, with the WHO uh, visit, uh, we realized that uh, uh, staff is migrating uh, through the north. So, uh, in, uh, for example, uh, from uh, from uh, Balkan to the Europe, from Europe to the Scandinavia, Scandinavia is also Europe. So, uh, we will uh, must be aware of this problem because in the future we can face this problem also in Slovenia. But uh, community nursing in Slovenia is now well staffed, and we want to, uh, as uh, Patricia and uh, Ingrid said, um, uh, our teams uh, enlarge with uh, other uh, healthcare providers like physiotherapists and others. So uh, at the moment, I cannot speak that the community nursing in Slovenia is a problem. For other fields of nursing, uh, it's uh, in hospitals or in uh, 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 in in the uh, 
residential homes, uh, I, I, I see in the media and so on is a, a, a huge problem. So, but I'm not competent to speak about uh, these fields of nursing because I'm not familiar with uh, the data and so uh, uh, I just can't speak for community nursing. Before giving the floor to Corinne uh, uh, to, to give your, your feedback on this, uh, uh, to me it sounds like if you have an appealing profession with a car, with nice clothes and uh, 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 really a nice working environment, you you could you might be able to tackle uh, medical deserts, uh, Corinne, or am I wrong? Now your microphone. Yes. Yes, I'm getting there. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, very interesting discussion. And thank you for giving me the floor, Diederik. Um, I wish it were that uh, straightforward, Diederik, but um, it, it is a fact that it's not just salary that keeps people happy and um, that is the only element in any retention strategy. Uh, it is one element, but uh, there's more than that. It's uh, indeed also um, the status of a profession, the working conditions, safety, security in the in the working environment. Um, I mean, I hear you saying it's a beautiful profession, and I think there's lots of people who think the same. Um, but uh, and I I I, I totally <laughs> I totally agree. But it's also it's also a fact of life. Uh, and my previous speaker was referring to the intra-European migration uh, flows. It's also a fact of life that if you see better opportunities for work and or life abroad, it is appealing to go there. So yes, in that sense, it is really crucial to make the profession as attractive as possible in all its different aspects. Yeah, clear. Well, thanks. I think I think uh, I want to end uh, 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 and, uh, before giving the, our uh, presenters uh, the last word with this uh, positive signal in the sense that we have seen a wonderful example uh, of how you can uh, keep uh, healthcare uh, alive and kicking. And I think that's that's what we're all uh, aiming for. Uh, so uh, 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 continue this wonderful work, uh, Patricia, Ingrid and all your colleagues. Uh, Patricia, Ingrid, you wanted to end to say a few uh, uh, final words on this? Maybe Ingrid first. Ingrid, yes, I'm trying to put my microphone on. Okay. <laughs> Um, well, thank you for uh, for inviting us and for 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 us to be able to present to you community nursing. And you're welcome to see it uh, uh, if you and when you come to Slovenia. Patricia. Yes, thank you. I would like to thank Ingrid for a wonderful presentation and Didrik for organizing this webinar. And of course, all of you uh, who attended it and um, contributed to this discussion, uh, which I'm sure was very interesting. And I hope we will see you in Slovenia in 2024 and this year in Istanbul. Exactly. Uh, so this year in Istanbul, as you see in the screen now, uh, but indeed next year, also in September, we will meet in uh, Ljubljana. Uh, you can reach that from all parts of Europe by train. So that's a real in, in, improvement. Istanbul might be a bit more difficult. Anyhow, uh, hope to see you all in EFPC activities. Thank you for your presence and um, um, uh, see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.